If I hear a dad, old and dying, gather his family around and address them for one last time, I am listening. That's what I'm listening for when I read this section of Acts chapter 20. I do not count my life of any value or as precious to myself if only I may finish my course and the ministry that I received from the Lord Jesus to testify to the gospel of the grace of God. So my summary of these four verses is better to lose your life than to waste it. And that's why I live. My goal in life is not to stay alive. My goal in life is to stay on course. It's like living to make much of the greatness and the glory of the grace of God as your supreme treasure. That kind of success, 80 years, no sick days, $80 million, field of dreams, dead. That's a wasted life. My life is about making much with my actions, my words, my music, my computer skills, my acting, my nursing. To, my life is to make much of the glory of the grace of God. That's why I'm on the planet, to make him look good, especially his grace. So we don't all have the same um, ministry form, same form of ministry, but we do all have, I think, the same aim the same ultimate aim of ministry, namely to magnify the glory and the greatness of the grace of God in Jesus. If the mindset that says better to lose your life than to waste it means, and living in sync with that dream between 20 and 60, and if losing your life while not wasting it means you don't lose it, but you gain it, crowned, Everybody who finishes the unwasted life, whether at 22 or 82, wins, wins the crown. And this crown of righteousness will be put on your head by the King of Kings. You will share his glory. This slight momentary affliction on this route, this race, this ministry, this slight momentary affliction is working for us an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison. Then my obvious plea to you is don't waste your life because it's better to lose it than to waste it.